Welcome back to Explore Wonder. Today we're diving into a high-stakes showdown between two of the world's wealthiest individuals, Elon Musk and Mukesh Ambani. The battleground? India's satellite internet market. With nearly 40% of India's 1.4 billion people lacking internet access, the opportunity in this market is vast. Both Musk and Ambani are gearing up to provide satellite broadband services that could change the game for connectivity in remote and rural areas. Recently, the Indian government announced a significant decision. It will allocate satellite spectrum administratively rather than through traditional auctions. This move has sparked heated debates between the two billionaires. Elon Musk's Starlink boasts an impressive fleet of over 6,400 satellites and has already secured 4 million subscribers across 100 countries. Musk has been eager to launch services in India since 2021, but regulatory hurdles have caused delays. If successful, this could bolster Prime Minister Narendra Modi's push for foreign investment and enhance India's global business image. On the other side, Mukesh Ambani's Reliance Geo has been a dominant force in India's telecom sector, having invested billions in airwave auctions. Geo has partnered with Luxembourg-based SES Astra to offer medium-Earth orbit satellite services, a strategic move to compete with Musk's low-Earth orbit satellites. So, what's the difference? Starlink's low Earth orbit satellites provide faster internet by operating at altitudes between 160 and 1000 kilometers. In contrast, SES Astra's medium Earth orbit satellites are positioned higher, potentially offering a more cost effective system for broadband services. Satellite internet is vital for bridging the digital divide in regions where traditional services like DSL or cable are unavailable. With estimates suggesting that India could reach 2 million satellite internet subscribers by 2025, both Musk and Ambani recognize the immense potential. The competition isn't just about technology, it's also a battle of influence. Musk has publicly challenged Ambani, asking if it would be too much trouble to allow Starlink to compete. Ambani, however, argues that auctions ensure fair competition, especially given the complexities of satellite broadband. As India's internet adoption rate lags behind global averages, the need for affordable broadband options is critical. However, Starlink services are reportedly 10 times more expensive than major Indian providers, which raises questions about its viability without government subsidies. The battle is heating up, and experts predict a price war could be inevitable. With Musk's deep pockets, he could offer competitive pricing or even free services to establish a foothold in the market. The stakes are high as these two titans of industry prepare for a fierce competition. Who will emerge victorious in the quest for India's satellite internet market? We'll be watching closely. Thanks for tuning in to Explore Wonder. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more updates on this evolving story.